Garth Williams um, illustrated many of the classic children's books of the last 75 years, books that almost everyone in America and in other countries too grow up with. For instance, um, Charlotte's Web and Stuart Little, both by E.B. White, and all of the Laura Ingalls Wilder books, and The Cricket in Times Square, and on and on and on. Both of his parents were artists, and he used to sneak into his father's studio when he was five or six years old and do little extra drawings on his father's magazine cartoons. So it was in his blood, and he associated it with his own childhood. And then he became a father several times over, so he was always around children. Um, and beyond that, I think the people who do great work for children, either as writers or illustrators, are the ones who have deep memories of growing up and want to share you know, the joy that they experienced in those days. Most of the books that he illustrated were written by other people, but there was one picture book called The Rabbit's Wedding, and it was published just as the civil rights movement was becoming a big thing in this country, and it was the story of a white rabbit and a black rabbit who meet, become friends, and at the end of the story, they marry, the rabbit's wedding. Well, in Alabama, that was taken as a um, allegory for um, marriage between the races. And in segregationist Alabama, that was you know, controversial. So the book was banned, um, and the, the state librarian was forced to resign as a result of it. It became very ugly. And, um, and then, of course, all around the world, in the press, it became an example of how America was you know, it hasn't come to terms with, um, with its race um, issue. So um, it stands out as one of the um, biggest examples of censorship in um, American history. I gave the show a kind of ambitious title. I called it Am Illustrator of the Century. It's a big statement. Um, I just think he had it all. I mean, he was an amazing portrait artist. He was really a master at the magic of drawing animals who have human qualities so that they exist in a sort of between world that um, can only be found in the pages of a book. And that's one of the things that I think really excites um, children when they're just encountering storytelling and narrative, um, that this could be possible even. And, um, you know, his people are, and his other characters are real on an emotional level. And that's, I think, really the key to the best children's books. Children see something or somebody in a book that they can connect with and that allows them to grow as people. <laughs>